Hey, everybody, welcome to back. Here's some Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. Let's talk about Superman The Dark Side Ooh. from John Francis Moore and Kieran Dwyer. This is an Elseworlds story that is from the year 1998. Three part chapter of Elseworlds. Hey, right! We did JLA Act of God, which is also an Elseworlds story, although I should say it's from 2001. This is before Act of God, which arguably was one of the worst books we've ever done. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this, this upholds the noble tradition of adding extra chapters because there's just so much story to tell. I really wanted to talk about this because a lot of folk who are fans of Elseworlds are like, when are you gonna jump into a non-Batman book that's <laughs> set in Elseworlds? And I'm like, well, you have to dig deep to find them. But they exist. Most of them are starring Batman and the rest are usually starring Superman. Superman it's like, what if Batman, but it's the 19th century? What if Superman, but he landed in there? And that's, I mean, yeah, you know what? All right, fair. And that's that's. Cool. What about what if Aquaman, Wonder Woman, but, yeah, Aquaman uh, was but on, on the land? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, because it's like the opposite. Is there a book in which it's like, what if Superman, but it's not Cal? It's some guy named Clark Kent who Earth explodes and they're sent by like to Krypton. <laughs> uh, that's a book for another time. Is I this see. trash? No, no. <laughs> I, no. This, this book surprised the crap out of me because yeah. I was like, "All right, Superman story. Let's do this." It's a secret new gods book. Oh, okay. Well, it's, it has Dark Side in the name. Yeah, but like, so. okay, but Dark Side. That's not how you spell Dark Side, Ethan. Yeah, well, that's I, the Dark Side. I know, it's a play on words, but obviously <laughs> it implies that he's going to be in it. Well, he's also on the cover. It just sounds like you don't know how to spell, is all I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's more like DC doesn't know how to spell because I don't, because people are like Dark Seed, Dark Side. <laughs> Speaking of which, I remember hearing, and actually at DC, there was this initiative planned because it's Dark S E I D. Yeah. Right? And it's like, what is that? And right. for a long time, as a kid, I thought it said seed. Yeah. And then I heard it on the Superman animated series the first time I ever heard the word dark side said out loud. I was like, dark side. That's way better. <laughs> and, oh, that makes way more sense. And apparently the idea was that after, I think it was Final Crisis, they were like, when things get rebooted or when dark side is rebooted, he will go by dark seed. Because those were the two interpretations of pronunciation for his name. <laughs> so it's like, for the first half of his life, Right. He'll be called Dark Side, but now we're right. going to go for Dark Seed. Mm -mm. And everyone went, no, we're not going to No. Do that. How are we going to uphold that? <laughs> yeah, how do we, we're going to have characters like, pronounce it phonetically you in the, the book email many times. Company-wide email. Hey, everybody, all creators, <laughs> all people who work at DC, uh, <laughs> remember that S-E-I-D will spell seed for the next foreseeable future. I'm you sorry, a uh, foreseeable future. You don't really need to know that because no one's pronouncing it in your book. It's more that they're... It's just written. You yeah. Can... yeah, but at cons and stuff, when you talk about it yeah. with fans... Yep, you will say Seed and go, no, now we're in the new era for Dark Side. <laughs> Who is Dark Seed now? So yeah, this this pitch is just, uh, what if kal landed on Apocalypse? And it's not really Apocalypse. Like, it's not that he lands directly on Apocalypse. The the the, the Kryptonian scientists aren't that bad at navigation. Also, like, <laughs> Darkseid's forces it. would have, like, yes. blown the rocket out of the water. Right? You were like, what there. the hell's this, beam? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, so the story opens with Krypton. It's being destroyed. The idea was they abandoned religion. <laughs> Poor uh, Krypton. <laughs> Screw Krypton. Just, it exists to die. It's just, it's just there to explode. That's right. I don't want to know anything about Krypton. There was a book a long time ago called The Books of Krypton. I'm like, eh, pass. <laughs> I don't want to know anything about your crappy planet except that you died. The most remarkable thing that came out of your planet was the one last survivor and maybe Supergirl. And occasionally, depending on the origin you go with. And it's like, that's it. Maybe the dog too. Or Krypto can stay. Or what, but, what about Kandor? It can or can get a stay of execution too. But even then, I'm kind of like, eh. Okay. Uh, I'm a little on the fence. Well, what about Rolls R? <laughs> he's, a, he's a rich tapestry of a character. Yeah, Ro Rolls R really deepens the mystery of Krypton. I really appreciate any uh, any story that dares to use Rolls R. It's just, you know, it's just, you know, really super interesting. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's super interesting. Super interesting. So Krypton's destroyed. The idea is the Kryptonians abandoned religion long ago, and they decide uh, to science. instead science. Science is their is their god. And that was a huge mistake, apparently. Well, it didn't matter and God because said, God abandoned them. Real. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up your sun, you sons of bitches, and then boom, that was it. And so Wait, is that see, what happened? The sun blew up. Yeah, the sun goes supernova. Sometimes it's the Earth itself is gonna blow up. 
Other times the sun consumes Krypton. Okay, that one I don't make that. No, I would. I like it more that the world itself will blow up yes. because you could have scientists who are like, no, it's not. It's going to be fine. But like, if you see the sun hitting change the end colors, of it, like, the, like their star at, at coming to an end of like at the end of its life, like you know that, right? You can't refute that. Yes, but it does last for millions of years. Okay. So you could see people being like, it's been in the Nova stage for like when, 10 million, million years. years. It's going right. to suddenly blow up. Blow up. You wouldn't, like, there wouldn't be warnings though. Oh yeah. They have Kryptonian technology. That's true. I feel like they it's should like be able to figure it out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I've always wondered, though, about the planet blowing up because it's like, yeah, but like, how though? Right. How? Like, I don't understand how the planet could just blow up. <laughs> okay, Ethan, what if, what if what they said was the planet was blowing up because at the core it was actually like an egg and a big <laughs> space dragon came out of it? The no, space that's dragon. the worst. <laughs> I mean, that's just the Eternals that's movie. Just, yeah, that is the Eternals movie. Oh, yeah. And Earth X. Oh, yeah, okay. So Jor-El and company put Kal-El in the baby rocket. The only thing that's different Why is circuits all over it's a little arms? different where, what? you know, this is the version of them that in, in which they are more they love machine now than man. I see. Uh, <laughs> but but Cal is not. You know, Cal's still a right. Well, he hasn't had time to get machines all put all up. on him. Yeah. yeah. He's, go, he's going in next week, but there's no time. Right. right. We couldn't put him in the cold laser bath. This is how close you came to having a Superman covered in circuits. That's right. And, in, and then, A then, cyborg then, Superman, if you will. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's a neat idea. I'm gonna go back in time and invent that. <laughs> so, you know, it, there's an implication here that maybe it's Brainiac-ified, but Brainiac's idea of being Kryptonian at all is more co-opted by the animated series than the comic books. Mm. But, so they send him off and, he, and, and they pick Earth and they're like, all right, he's going to Earth and it's gonna be great for him. He's gonna love it. He's he's <laughs> look, at, look at how blue it is. Yeah. Well, also they happen to look just like us. Well, and, he'll be yeah. a superhuman there. Thought. Like Jor-El is like, no, 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 trust me. Like he's gonna like he's it. Gonna there. Have a that good sun time. is gonna work out for him. And, and I guarantee. Listen, eventually they're gonna get all into science and they're gonna love it too. So oh yeah. It's, yeah. It's so good. So the rocket heads towards Earth, but right before it does, it hits a hole in space and gets sucked out. It's a, more or less a boom tube that sends it to Apocalypse instead. That Apocalypse's scientists, mostly to Saad, were like, that, get it, mm -hmm. send it back. Okay. Why? Send it to us. Like, I feel like it's gonna be important. Yes, well, they're like, I need the payload. They're like, they, they are aware of Kryptonian science, but that happened like a thousand years ago. I think the idea is that like, there's a there's time dilation between Cal's shipping through space and his arrival to Earth. Oh, is oh. that canon? It's not, but sometimes uh. it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, some folk like to say that, oh no, Krypton was destroyed a thousand years ago. And other people right. are like, no, it just, it blew up and then it takes a year and then uh, they pick them up. Mm. I guess everything's been canon at this point. That's true. <laughs> you, when you're a character that's been around for like 90 years and you keep getting rebooted, yeah. they're all gonna, plus, oh, you're not just gonna get rebooted, also you're gonna have Elseworld stories. So, you know, <laughs> everyone's gonna get confused about what your origins are. But uh, suffice to say, it holds water. We get it, you know? Mm -hmm. Doom planet, scientists, send the baby. The only difference is the rocket goes to apocalypse. It gets diverted. Right. And Blast so second. it arrives in an area of apocalypse. I love how apocalypse is a shithole planet. It's, <laughs> it's, it's fire pits. Hey, you can't say that about apocalypse. <laughs> Oh, are you from there? Who are you to judge? Yeah. Apocalypse, who is literally a hellscape. The planet is the antithesis of New Genesis. Excuse me, you're gonna hurt the tourism. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like getting eaten by parademons or demon dogs would probably hurt the tourism Mate, more. Do parademons eat that. people? They can. I mean, anyone I mean, that, you can. Know, that, 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 that could also just be the anti-apocalyptian propaganda. I mean, listen. Don't go there, the parademons will eat you. Do they have teeth? They certainly do, and they're smiled down to, to fangs. Then they absolutely can eat you. They could bite you. Anything yeah. with teeth Yeah, can bite people you. can eat you too, but we don't say people eat people. No, well, some do. Yeah, it's very rare. But we don't say it like conversationally. We don't say it like it's a thing that's normal. It's not no, a deterrent like a, from going like to Spain. Boring. Why'd you pick Spain? I picked a country that was just kind of arbitrarily, uh, you know. Nice. Nice, yet also and a little people, foreign. But a little people bit like sinister. To, people like to travel there. It is a place people like to travel. Yeah. And if only they knew about the cannibals, about the cannibals maybe and... they wouldn't. Yeah, just saying. They try to keep that under wraps there. So Cal crashes through the atmosphere of Apocalypse and lands in a little region of Apocalypse called Armageddon. <laughs> this is what we're in for. It's Jack Kirby stuff. And let me tell you something. This is a full-on love letter to Jack Kirby and mm. his new god stuff. 
Okay. So like Armageddon is canon. When you see the hellscape of Apocalypse, like there's propaganda. You like live for Dark Side, die for Dark Side. <laughs> dark Side is awesome. Like visit Dark Side Apocalypse. Tuesdays. <laughs> but it's like I'm, I live here. I don't need to visit on Tuesday. I'm here every day. I'm here Monday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday. But anyway, so we, he lands in Armageddon, and we need to know that this is a more depressed area of Apocalypse. And I'm like, okay. It doesn't have as much funding as other <laughs> yeah, parts. Exactly. <laughs> he happens upon a pair of the depressed citizenry of Apocalypse and in Armageddon. And they're like, let's eat him! A depressed couple pushing their, like... Shopping cart? Shopping cart of cans named Marta and Jono. Or, or they're bringing oh my God. Like, the Apocalyptian, like, recycling center to get... <laughs> No, they're going to deposit back? Yeah, they're yeah, getting they're redemption. Co they're collecting, yeah. like, scraps, I guess, to be used or sold for, you know, some kind of nourishment. Right. There's no, like, natural resources on Apocalypse <laughs> except for fire. I don't, I don't know what they're getting or and, eating. And anger or misery? Yeah, it's really more misery. But anyway, <laughs> so I love that their names are Marta and Jono. I'm like, oh, my God. So they're like, this is great. I'm just going to poke it with this with this pipe to see if it's still alive. And it grabs the pipe and it crushes it because it's cow and he's... You know, he's, he's strong. What is the son of Apocalypse? Yeah, I was uh, going to say, does it have a yellow sun? So, okay, let's not and get into can that. Can you even, like, <laughs> see it through that atmosphere? I mean, there right? has to be... It's just tons of pollution. The problem is, uh, it's it's outside of reality. Okay. Oh, but so also, no it's in sun? space. No, there is. There definitely is a sun. Because, oh, okay. like, otherwise, how would they be heated? And right. Would they see? Oh, excuse me. You said their main export was the eternal was fire. fire. Yeah, those, those are, yeah. the, it's a different kind She's of fire. Because they have internal heat coming from out That's true. <laughs> yeah. the center of the planet. Right, but if they're not... Well, all right. So, anyway... <laughs> This would be great. We're going to sell him to... And then they get Omega Beamed. Huh. It's kind of a waste of an Omega Beam there. No. It's just two people. So Darkseid's like, thanks. Picks up the baby. He's like, screw them. I freaking love the idea of, of, of Darkseid just walking around. Yeah. In the worst part. Well, and the only reason why that happened is because Metron <laughs> wanted us to like, get information and know things for Darkseid. And one of those things was like, that baby is important and there's like, th there's a destiny for him. I see. And if you get him, it's gonna change your life. And Darkseid's like, done. So he made that happen, get Cal here, picks up the baby and he's like, this is gonna be awesome. And I shall name you Darkseid 2. <laughs> he just goes with Cal L because that's what his name is. How would he know? They learn it later. Uh, it's from printed like the, on the inside of the spaceship. It, the, the, the spaceship has its own like internal uh, circuitry and uh, like data bank. Data bank from Jor-El. Right. That Metron figures out. I see. And also withholds information from Darkseid about. What Ooh. kind of creature are the inhabitants of Darkseid? They're humanoids. Okay. If you're talking about Darkseid himself, I think he's no, talking about Jonah and Marta. Yeah. Jonah and Marta, they, yeah. they're humanoids. Or Jana? Are they native? Yeah, they're natives. Uh, okay. th and I assume, because the thing is like, we're gonna we're gonna get into the genesis of New Genesis and Apocalypse. The, yeah, if it's in here, then it's in cool. Here. I, it's yeah. one of those things I kind of always yeah. wondered we never about. Never explain like <laughs> where the people on Apocalypse come from, but mm. there are citizens of New Genesis and there are citizens of Apocalypse, and okay. the Apocalypse and New Genesis like predate humanity. Okay, so so it's not just parademons flying around. It's never just that. Okay. Although in the animated series, you will not see a lot of locals. Although mm. incidentally, <laughs> right. if you are a fan of the Superman animated series, the story might suddenly sound familiar to you. <laughs> And it's because about two years later, they went, that's a really cool story. That random that Elseworlds happened. book from freaking 1998, let's make a two or three part story out of it in the animated series of Superman. No, yeah. okay. Been since I've seen it, it's so. called Legacy and it's awesome. Okay. And I remember seeing that episode before I read this book and I'm hmm. like, this is sick and crazy and awesome. Then I read this, I'm like, oh, that's just an episode. <laughs> Who did what when? Oh, okay. So years later, we go to New Genesis and we see that uh, we're introduced to the idea, because it's Elseworlds, so we're not, we're not taking for granted that you know who all these people are, especially because That's good, because I barely do. Uh, right, most <laughs> people barely do. And that's why, I'm, in 98, them going, Superman Darkseid, it's a Superman Elseworlds story. What if Kal-El landed on Apocalypse? And then you start reading and you're about a book in and you go, what do, when does the Superman stuff start happening? <laughs> And then you realize about like two thirds of the way through, oh, you're doing this to acclimate me to the awesomeness of Jack Kirby and the, <laughs> and the, and the fourth world. Fine, I'm already this deep in the book. And you get some Superman stuff, but like Light Ray is more important than Superman. And it's oh. like, oh, damn it. I do like Light Ray, <laughs> but even then, they don't try to contextualize Light Ray. He's just, he's just joyful and pleasant, as his name suggests. He's an inhabitant of New Genesis. He is best friend of Orion, 
We establish all the things that you would take for granted in the year 2023, here in the future, where Ooh. you'd go, I know about the origins of New Genesis and Apocalypse. I know about the tenuous deal between High Father and Dark Side where they traded firstborn sons for an uneasy peace. Mm -hmm. I know that Dark Side is looking for any excuse to break that peace, but also to do it subtly. I know about his machinations. I know about mother boxes. <laughs> I know about Forger and the bugs and the lowlies, because the lowlies on Apocalypse live in Armageddon and they're like regular people. <laughs> the lowlies on New Genesis are bug creatures who have evolved into bug men led by Forager, who is like the most human looking bug man there is. That's why he's the leader. That's why he's the leader. Because he's the only one they can stomach looking at. He's also the only one with a name. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it. So we see that Orion, of course, we, we know that Orion has a chip on his shoulder and a rage in his heart because he's technically the firstborn of Darkseid, but he don't know that. Oh, they didn't that, tell them? They were waiting for the right time. <laughs> When was the right time going to be? It was never coming. I guess when Calabac rolls up and says, hey, you're my brother. Yes. Now, you'll also notice that because of the Superman story, we're also going to muck with it a little bit. So, yeah. like, when Calabac shows up, he's going to look suspiciously like another character. And it's just because we can play fast and lose with Calabac. The animated series Calabac looks nothing like the comic book Calabac. looks like nothing like the fourth world Jack Kirby so Calabac. The, does the original comic book Calabac look more like a guy? Yes. Okay, because that always threw me off. I'm like, oh, is it just like because you grew up here, you didn't look like... Right. Calabac? No, because just... Scott Free grew up on Apocalypse and he looks like That's a guy. That's what was throwing me off. Yeah. No, Calabac is not High Fathers. Calabac no, is Darkseid. No, I know Dark he's Sides. not, but he's Darkseid, but so is... So is Orion. Yeah. Yeah. And in this, Orion I mean, will later they become... they the same mom? No, they don't. Hmm. Oh, no. And we talk about the parentage of most of these people later on. Naturally. You so... know what? I, I was going to... I literally was going to say, how does that even work? But let's like, not. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm like, is like Darkseid on the apocalypse version of like Tinder where he's like swiping left and right? He's like... just, I need to sire an heir. And they're like, ooh, a family man. I like that. Yeah, just, what does what his profile photo look like? I mean, I feel like it's any... It's like every drawing of him looks. <laughs> just exactly. him, just... arms crossed. Yeah. Or Omega beams flare. Vacant yeah. expression. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. What is your perfect date, Dark Side? <laughs> just, you know, finding the anti-life equation <laughs> and crushing the necks of those who oppose me under my boot heel. Okay. Which is pretty much like every other day for me. But, yeah. <laughs> so Forager is like foraging with his bro with his bug brothers. They're just trying to grab what they can. And Orion is like, what damn it, mean? these gross bug people, they're, they, they, they defile us. They don't belong here. They're not like us. And of, of course, High Father's like, yeah, yeah, you, you have no idea, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, whatever. So Light Ray's like, dude, leave them alone. Like these things, they're, they're lesser creatures. Look at how they- they <laughs> Look how they, hideous they are. They're they're they already they have a, a bad situation. And, and they can't fly around Yeah, us. like me. And then Forager grabs Orion's helmet. He's like, woohoo, because he's just like a happy-go-lucky bug creature. He's just like, look at me. And he just takes the helmet and Orion's like, oh, that's it. And so he just like busts out his floating, you know, chair that's also made of special metals that come it's from a, Apocalypse. It's, it's not a chair, it's like a hover. It's like a hover <laughs> brace. It's it's like a walker, but <laughs> it flies. <laughs> and uh, so he tries to kill Forger and Forger's jumping around. Then High Father shows up. He's like, knock it off, Orion. Uh, these creatures don't deserve that. They're, and look at how uh, resourceful they are. They've even like forced evolution into themselves to be able to be sentient. So they, you should applaud that. It's nice. I'm going to send them someplace where they'll be able to fill their bellies with uh, sugars and, and proteins until the winter is over. And so they just they just wake up. They just blink and they're, and they're someplace else, underground, uh, where they can find all the nourishment they need. Where they belong. Why does one of them Damn look like right. a xenomorph? Because we can. Okay. Also, it's just, we just draw it. The, oh, they're all because they're bug creatures. They're, right. they're walking bugs. So yeah, or, or human Xenomorphs bugs, are basically so just xenomorphs. human sized bugs. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so all, off they go, and Orion's like, "I'll never understand why you show pity and remorse to and this disgusting creature. To any disgusting creature. If I was in charge, I would have just killed them all. Yeah, like, and our father's like, "Yeah, that's why you're not in charge." <laughs> okay, this is a problem. So he this leaves. was a mistake. You know, Light Ray's like, "Come on, Orion, chase me." You know, like they just what? they're just pals. Like because Light Ray's all over the place. Right. Light like Ray a way of is light. like the yes. golden retriever they put in with a baby cheetah yes. so it doesn't <laughs> like, like go feral <laughs> <laughs> exactly so it can be a good ambassador animal like are, are we cool like yeah. I was like yeah we're cool man. yeah we're good like, cool, let's good. go yay okay because I feel like I could rip someone's face I off any second oh, 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 oh. boil it inside well, yeah don't forget I am a golden retriever I would never think like that come on <laughs> come on that's exactly what that relationship is <laughs> 
So uh, Metron shows up and he's like, hi father, what the crap is that all about? And he's like, oh Metron, one day maybe you'll learn the value of friendship. Spoilers, he doesn't. And, oh, and so Metron implies like, you know, that Orion may not in fact be High Father's son, but we get that because we're in the future and we know all that crap already. Right. We're not trying to sell the new gods. Hell, Tom King wrote a whole script about the new gods that they'll never make for Warner Brothers. So, moving on. Wait, does Metron not even know that? No, Metron knows. He's, oh. he's, he's doing it for the reader's sake. Like, oh. he's like, oh, but only, well, what if Orion learned the truth about his father? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yes, and what if High Father's son? And it's just scot free, zipping around Apocalypse, stealing shit. He seems to be having a nice time. He, he's having a nice time. He's having a better time than I've ever seen him have. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's in his earlier years, before he met Barda, before he uh, escaped Apocalypse. And so... Is he a thief? He is a thief. Is that a thing? Uh, oh. He's, he's a... Uh, okay, so... I thought he was an escape artist. He is an escape artist. No, Scott Free was given to Darkseid and raised on Apocalypse and not been like, you're my son and you will be an evil instrument of doom. No, he's like, okay, uh, it's mine, meh, and just throws him to, you know, the, the Furies and Wander to, the streets no, of- No, no, like, oh. no, no, put him in like, in like hell daycare. Uh, like, have him be raised by anyone, you know, but mostly horrible, torturous people and watch as like the true genetics of High Father allow Scott Free to retain any semblance of what you would imagine as humanity. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's zipping around and he's he's tr he's stealing um, technology that he will one day try to use to escape Apocalypse because this place sucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he's escaping, he bumps into Barda, who is a patrol agent, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Hey, you're breaking curfew." And he's like, "Oh, I'm really sorry. I got, I'm I'm prepping for the the, the, the trials that are happening tomorrow." She's like, "All right, well, let I'll let it slide, but I'm, let me don't let me catch you again." I've got my eye on you, and Scott he's like, Free. He's like, "That's fine." Because... Yeah, because I like you having your eyes on me yeah. as I do on you. So because it makes it less, less creepy that I just keep staring at you. Right. So Desaad <laughs> goes to Darkseid and he's like, "Oh, no, Darkseid, <laughs> Scott Free stole some crap." And Darkseid's like, "Nothing happens to this planet that I don't say happens. Like I let that happen." I I got plans and plans, uh -huh. I got machinations, trust yeah. me. Oh, okay, you think yeah. this is getting you points? Exactly, it's it doesn't not. help me. But also, he does let him stay there. Like, Darkseid yeah, is like, oh, you pathetic freaking creature, I hate you. Also, thank you for doing the job that no one else wants, and you, know, <laughs> right. you must be doing it well. Because... I don't need you at all, I already knew everything, but I still keep you around for some reason. Right, because you definitely do need him. To right. Keep at least an appointment book. <laughs> After many years uh, and much training and effort, uh, Kal-El has grown into a man, what Darkseid refers to as a Superman. And uh, he's given him some special apocalyptic armor. Did he raise him like his son? Yes. He was like, this kid's mine, Scott Free, get out. Yes. Oh, I see. But so not at any expense, he did that to Scott Free too, yeah. in the original continuity as well. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's no. just, so the difference here is he has a son this time. He has another son, it's Kalabak. But he also right. treats Kalabak like crap. But <laughs> Kalabak also knows that he is the son of Darkseid, mm. and doesn't let anyone forget it. Except Darkseid is like, shut up. Yeah, Darkseid is like, you're so gross and ugly and stupid and I hate you. Because you know what you are? You're a tryhard Kalabak. Because <laughs> you want my approval so badly, I want to give it you, to you that much less. So uh, there's going to be this big uh, gladiatorial kind of like combat conquest trial. So Darkseid's like, I'm going to unveil Superman, my Superman, at the big games. And Desaad's like, I feel like, I don't know, like, why did you keep him a secret this long? Like, why did you why did you do it then? Like, why is he such a secret? And then you're going to unveil him at this big yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a good question. It's that's so weird. Pretty random. Like, Don't fucking question me. <laughs> How dare you? Because I want to. Okay, God. Yeah. God. yeah. So then we see Calabac, and he's just doomsday. Huh, yeah. Oh, oh. Because it's a Superman book. Calabac is such a loose concept, I'm down. I'm sorry, are they in the Coliseum? Uh, yeah, they are. You know that because it says Coliseum on oh the wall. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. Right? Like, really, really look at all of the propagate Granny loves you with Granny goodness. Right. Make your Granny proud. Yeah, it's great. There's victory and death. Right? <laughs> in the Coliseum. Is that Come Hitler? Come on down to the Coliseum. No, that's Wunderbar, who is a Jack Kirby creation. He's a member of Darkseid's inner circle. Yes. It's Jack <laughs> Kirby criticism of Nazis. Jack Kirby used to kill Nazis. Right. He has a real problem with them. Yeah. So he created one and put one and put in on Apocalypse. That's where only the truest evil is born. Sure. Including mm. Wunderbar. Who, okay. who speaks German or speaks with a phonetically German stereotypical accent. I see. So we're not supposed to take 
Apocalypse seriously. Please don't. As a concept. For God's sake, no. Oh, it seems that like would comics be really have, silly. have kind of done that, though. Uh, comics and films have certainly taken it so seriously <laughs> that it's like the most serious you can take it. And to an, ex to an extent, the Superman animated series did the same thing, but it's, I think it's, I think they struck the perfect balance. This is silly and let's just move on. But the animated series is like, Dark Side is scary. And everything else. All the bullshit around like, him. Granny Goodness in the animated series is voiced by Ed Asner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And That's by the awesome. way, it works. It really does. And they're all drawn because Bruce Timm has a very like adaptable, simple style. Once we go to New Genesis, it's Jack Kirby. Hmm. Like everyone has square jaws. Every plus, like once Dan Turpin shows up, and you know, it's just a whole. Well, and, and in the animated series, Dan Turpin is just Jack Kirby. They just drew Jack Kirby, and yeah. Dan Turpin is the head of the uh, uh, Metropolis Special Unit Task Force, and uh, he's a good cop, and he's a grizzled old, you know, city boy. Right. He's just this is Jack Kirby if you were a cop. So. Here we are in the Coliseum. Calabac is the <laughs> undisputed champion, and then they unveil the Superman. And I love they unveil the Superman. He just comes out of one of the fire pits. Like there's just this blazing heat, and huh. he just walks out of it. And they're like, those things kill everything. <laughs> but he can withstand it. Holy crap. And when he is revealed, he wears this head to toe Kirby inspired suit mm -hmm. of armor. We don't see how pretty he is underneath. Right. You know, Calabac is all bluster for Dark Side, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, Superman just murders him. Oh. oh. How does so, he kill him? That's, oh, uh, he, uh, he just he, beats him to I death. I think he just beat, he, he caves his head in with, oh. his, with his might. Uh, although he does ask Yikes. for permission first before he does that. He asks for uh, Dark Side's approval. Uh, Calabac begs for mercy from his father, and then he kills him. Then he takes the helmet off. Ta da, he's beautiful, and, uh, yeah, and he's mine. And now he's my only son. Looks like all the Furies are like, hello. Oh, they are. Oh, no. In this and in the animated series, it's funny. In this, they're like, oh, if only he could join into an arena that of my own making. Lashina is very much, because she's all in the bondage, because, you know, it's her whole thing. Mm. Uh, she's like, oh, I'll tie him up and put him in my own coliseum of, uh, you know. Whatever. Of sex. <laughs> It's like, where are you, what where world are you going to pick? So, but in the animated series, he conquers a world, mm. returns, and the, the Furies are all over him, and Darkseid's like, go and enjoy the rewards of, the, of victory. Like, go bang all the Furies. <laughs> and indeed, he does. So, <laughs> did Scott down there being like, oh, man. Yes, I'm so dead. This is not going to work for me. Oh. So, Scott Well, I think he's up. also like, Barda has no... Oh, no, Barda is looking straight at kal -El. Oh. He's like, oh yes. And Scott's like, I will never be able to compete. That there, there is no trickery or, <laughs> you know, lock I can pick right. that all, will unchain all I her heart. is that he wants someone else. Right. <laughs> and then I'll be there to pick up the pieces. <laughs> yeah. uh, you'll be surprised where this goes because uh, it's not quite by the numbers. So Scott Free meets up with a couple of like-minded individuals who want to leave and have been facilitating Scott's ability to build some kind of great escaping weapon. Mm -hmm. And he's like, dude, the Superman is here. We are so effed. I gotta leave now. <laughs> and uh, so he tries to leave and he bumps into the Superman and the Superman beats the living hell out of him, smashes him through a wall and paralyzes him. Uh, oh. Scott att attempts to activate a boom tube through his mother box and escape. Uh, but the force through which he is pulled through the boom tube, slams him into a brick wall on Earth and further complicates his injuries. So, uh, <laughs> Scott Free is just a vegetable on Earth. And Superman is like, damn it, this boy, uh, this enemy of the state eluded me. And so he goes before Darkseid and he's like, I'm, I await my judgment for failure. And Darkseid is like, yes, you did fail. And by the way, I wanted him to escape, it's fine. <laughs> But, but you didn't know that, you so, know that you so you did fail. Didn't fail. And yeah. I won't punish you because I do need you and you're probably more powerful than I am. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let's not worry about that. Anyway, I have a great ultimate weapon that suspiciously looks like Brainiac, but it isn't. And uh, it no. is essentially a planet destroyer. And what I want you to do is take it to New Genesis because uh, Scott Free escaping Apocalypse breaks the deal with High Father. 
my son was supposed to stay on Apocalypse, right. but he left. So he broke the treaty, whether he knows it or not. Right. Whether he knows that High Father is his father and I'm supposed to be his father. No, he doesn't even know that Dark Side's supposed to be his father. But ne <laughs> nevertheless, Dark Side, you know, obviously Apocalypse must have a lot of lawyers on it. Uh, so he knows all these loopholes. And so Dark Side's like, he broke the treaty, which means we can, which means war's back on our menu, boys. And so. I I thought the point, though, was that they did this because they wanted peace. Yeah, no, High Father wanted peace. And Darkseid was like... Why did Darkseid agree to it at all? I've right? never understood I, this. I think it's because he wanted to screw with High Father. He's like, yeah, let High Father give me his firstborn son. I'll take a ceasefire for a little while, collect my forces, make things worse. Right. Maybe he wasn't sure he could win. Yeah. So he needed a second. Well, and also Darkseid was like, I, I'm still chasing the anti-life equation. I also can't necessarily beat... Hi, father, unless I have it. Also, it makes more sense that, like, if High Father's son was on Apocalypse, they'd be less likely to want to... Blow it up. Right, but, like, Dark Side didn't care. No, he no, he couldn't care less. He didn't care about yeah. Orion. He's nope. not like, oh, man, I wonder what my boy's up to. I hope it's evil and bad. He's just like, I don't... I, don't, I, I have, like, a million sons. Yeah. And I got this guy now. Right, and now right. I got my adopted son, who's way better than any of the ones that I made myself. So, so it's really like High Father, like, gave up something really important to him so that Dark Side would stop. Yes. <laughs> And yeah. Darkseid was like, whatever. Well, and I think High Father also, like, maybe he was like, if I take his son, this is all speculation, but like, the idea of High Father taking on the son of Darkseid, the firstborn of Darkseid, like, maybe it's like, I can learn something about Darkseid, or maybe mm. he can be the bridge between worlds where if Darkseid comes a calling, we can unleash Orion on him, and Orion will. But there's also a prophecy about Orion being able to kill Darkseid, but it's not in this book, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, but, you know, maybe there's something to be learned from Darkseid. Like, there, there's more work to be uh -huh. done that can result in peace if I have the firstborn son of Darkseid in my care. Right. Mm. Somehow that might help us. Right. And no. <laughs> so, so Apocalypse invades New, New Genesis. Oh, oh. it's just like, oh, okay. Okay, boom. Open up a boom tube, drop all in. So the forces all go there, and Orion's so then, like, it's time. It's happening. <laughs> So, so then High Father murders Orion, right? Because no, he's his hostage. No, so, and the deal's been broken. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what, not how. That's why you do it, right? That is not how no. High Father looked at it. No, he was like, "What, <laughs> Orion? I guess defend New Genesis, <laughs> and you have no reason to betray me because you don't know that right. you're not a bad my guy." Son. Yeah. <laughs> so then Superman shows up with the big planet destroyer, and he's like, "Get out of my way, you losers!" <laughs> Just pushes everyone out of the way. Where is this McFarlane figure? Right? It's more <laughs> or less the Hellbat armor. It does but, look yeah. like that. But it's it's distinct enough to be its own figure, Todd. So <laughs> he, And you can take his helmet off and he has his beautiful face. That's yeah, true. That's you can pop true. the helmet off. Or swap the heads. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> so My Orion friends. engages Superman and immediately just gets his ass handed to him. And then Superman just drives himself through the surface of the planet, goes to the planet core. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. And then <laughs> activates the great machine. Oh. And um, so... Destroys it, New Genesis? It, it goes off and it starts wrecking oh, no, everything. All, the, all of their dinosaurs. dragon dinosaurs oh, and no. boars and, 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 and vegetation. It's all being destroyed. And so everyone's like, oh my god, he it, it happened. It worked. So High Father meets up with Orion. Orion's like, it's over. We lost. Mm. New Genesis is for naught. What are we going to do? And High Father's like, we got to go. That's what we got to do. We got to leave. Yeah. Because, you know... New evacuate Genesis the planet. Is, New Genesis is a people, not a place. Right. And uh, so uh, then the force of Darkseid break into the Great Hall and they engage High Father. Superman is like, all right, I will engage High Father because the other lowly people are like, it's, that's High Father. He's the leader of New Genesis. Like, he might be as powerful as Darkseid. Right. And Superman's like, no. Sure. Well, it's right up to High Father and he's like, all right, where is everybody? Like, line up the new gods and give them to me so I can kill them or give them to Darkseid. And High Father's like, there is a great secret surrounding you. You don't know what it is. I do. Uh, and one day you'll learn it. And then he bonks him with his shepherd's crook and sends Superman away. Oh, he could do that? Yeah. Uh, but before he does, he like enters his mind and shows him a great prophecy that is connected with Superman, this Superman, mm. Mm. which is the war will end when the destroyer becomes a creator. Okay. That's it. Does, is this a power he has that he can see the future or uh, something? High Father, yeah. He's, well, he's, high Father has many powers. That's right. Well, High Father's basically a god. Okay. Or God. So it's like, yeah, I can see the future, I can see the past, I can show it to you. Can Darkseid see the future? Nah. Oh. He's just really old. I so see. he like knows a lot of stuff. Though High Father does show Superman his origins. Oh. He shows him the Kryptonians, the planet exploding, and he's like, this is what happened. Like, the people of your planet believed in nothing. 
<laughs> and for their folly, their lives were for naught, and you were the only survivor. That's a weird message. I know. And <laughs> Superman's like, I don't know why I should believe you, but I do. Like, that's the spoken word of High Father. Right. And he's like, yeah, you you were you were raised by Darkseid, but Darkseid's not your father, and and you shouldn't trust him because he's left he's left some things. Oh, I you. shouldn't trust that evil monster who right, runs his planet evil? with an iron fist. I don't know. I don't know the yeah, difference. Okay. I, I was I was raised as an infant on here. Right. I don't know what good is. <laughs> so he's like, all right, bye. And then he's like, my time is at an end, and he explodes. High my father. father. High yeah. father explodes. Yep. Why? And. Uh, because his time is at an end. He just it's over. He's like, it's even. over. New Genesis is. Well, forgot. I can't actually defeat Superman. All I can do is go into his mind and mess with him well, a little bit. Well, it's like I don't. I shouldn't have to because it's not my fight anymore. My job was to defend New Genesis. Oh, it's gone. So, so goodbye. I guess I'll cease existing. Right, and he doesn't become High Father the White later on in the story. He's <laughs> just dead. Uh, there's also a big whole thing about the Source, and it's all about God. Uh. Like, it's not a secret religion book. Although it kind of is, because Jack Kirby was like, I don't really cotton to normal Judeo-Christian mythology, but I do like the idea of space gods. And that's why the new gods exist. That's why the Eternals exist. The Celestials, he likes all that stuff. He loves the chariots of the gods things. Right. So he's like, no, there is a presence. He doesn't call it the presence. He calls <laughs> it the source. Right. And, of course, what's behind the source wall? That's the source. Like, the source is behind it. That's where right. God is. Mm -hmm. Perpetual, and, yeah. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> but uh, they, they refer to the source as though it were God. Okay. Like, the source be with you and, like, learn, <laughs> you know, the trust in the source, that kind of thing. Right. So, uh, the source will lead you where you need to go, and he just envelops in energy from High Father and then finds himself crash landing in the bay outside of Metropolis. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, this I guess is, of I course, seen that coming. this is a reality in which Superman never happened. Right. So while. But everything we, else happened? Mm, or it happened as if it would have if he had not been here? Is it, is it a what if? It's more or less like that okay. because we don't see any other superheroes. This is through and through a fourth world story by way of Superman, nothing else. Uh -huh. oh. No one in the editorial level was like, throw a little Batman in. Right. Uh, get, or get like, a of well, Wonder Woman would still exist. Right. No, Batman would still exist. Well, like, yeah. Those characters, they're not in this, and they don't affect it because it's mostly re it's it's morally self-contained mm -hmm. to Apocalypse, New Genesis, and Metropolis. Mm -hmm. Right. It's kind of it. So, because there is no Superman, or it's just a crappy world we live in, Metropolis is not as shining and beautiful as it should have been. And in fact, the bay is polluted. The skies are darkened. It, it's not quite it, as lovely. It kind of sucks. It, it kind of sucks. Right. And so it's like Gotham. It is like Gotham, <laughs> but it's not like crime is rampant. It's more right. like it is more evocative to the Armageddos, uh, where <laughs> see. people there are a lot more have-nots in the Metropolis. Well, and we without excuse me, without Superman there, shouldn't There's Lex no Luthor have used all of his money to help everything? Because <laughs> the only thing that was stopping him was Superman. right with right. Superman. That's yeah. True. Well, we actually get to put that to the test because, in fact, we do see Lex Luthor in this, and he did use his money to help himself and yeah. no one else. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exactly <laughs> what would happen. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a big stupid liar. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so Superman lands in the bay and he's surrounded by, you know, oil drums and garbage, and he's also pinned to the ground because he can't lift it. The the armor has kept oh. him there. A passerby sees this half naked man floating in the bay, and so she dives in and gets him, and it's Lois Lane, crack reporter. Ah. What? That's crazy talk. Darkseid goes to New Genesis to survey the carnage that was wrought by his son Kal El. They can't find him, and so he assumes that in a fierce battle with High Father, Kal-El has fallen. Mm. Oh well. It's like, oh well, mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> now all that's left to do is eradicate the rest of the new gods. But where are the they? The Eradicator Superman. Yeah, we need another <laughs> Superman. So Darkseid reasons that High Father must have sent all the new gods to Earth. Why Earth? It's the most comparable place to go. Because ah. this is based, it's just like Sailor Moon. They're going to be reborn there as regular people. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens in Final Crisis, <laughs> but uh, not here. So Lois uh, rescues Kal-El from the bay and uh, brings him up to speed for where he is. Also, the rest of, the, of this chapter will be narrated by Lois Lane in the form of an article she writes for the Daily Planet. Hmm. So Superman obviously is rude to Lois. He's like, woman, yeah. explain to me. And she goes, excuse me, first of all, my name's Miss Lane. <laughs> Or Lois, not woman, okay? Uh, secondly, what's your problem? 
And he starts jabbering all about he's the like, High Father me, and New Genesis. Show me where your is, yeah. so I might make a name for myself. <laughs> well, he, he's like, oh, you must be the leader of this place. And she's like, uh, what? No, like, whatever. What I, are the odds that the leader of the place fished you out of right. the water? Uh, excuse me. Darkseid did find that baby. Yeah, he did deliver him from True. the, you know. Yeah, where I come from, everyone who stumbles across me is the leader of the planet. That's right. <laughs> so Lois is like, all right, listen, I gotta go. But, like, don't be here in the next half hour because, like, shit's gonna go down. So, oh. goodbye. I gotta go win a Pulitzer. So, <laughs> uh, don't ruin one. this Pulitzer for yeah. me. So Lois ditches Superman on the docks, where he will be bathed in the uh, radiation of the yellow sun of the Earth. Uh, meanwhile, Lois goes and breaks into a warehouse that is being occupied by Carl Mannheim, who is the leader of Intergang. Uh, Carl Mannheim is also, well, Bruno Mannheim is a creation of Jack Kirby. Ah. Carl Mannheim is a philosopher in real life, but <laughs> we're going to use his namesake because maybe we don't remember that it's Bruno Mannheim and not Carl Mannheim because Carl is spelled K-A-R-L in this chapter, but it's spelled C-A-R-L in the next chapter, and neither of them are his name from the original Jack Kirby creation, Bruno, so whatever. What? But it's the same character. The point is Mannheim, <laughs> the the gangster that Jack Kirby is also using as a send up for organized criminals that he also has no patience for. Jack Kirby had a lot of opinions yeah. about like living in the 40s in New York. Uh -huh. And he had a lot of problem with Nazis and gangsters. And so he <laughs> sent them up in the comic books that he drew. And Mannheim is one of them. And Mannheim is like just this ruthless, douchey leader, like, yeah, see, James Cagney-esque gangster right. of Intergang. Intergang. And Intergang is a long-standing uh, history in the Superman comics, uh, but also Intergang is helped by Dr. Bedlam of Darkseid. Darkseid is essentially like seeding dissent and evil and chaos throughout like the known galaxy, uh, Earth in particular, and he sends Dr. Bedlam to like essentially arm these criminals with Weapons right. of New Genesis. To prep the planet for eventual... Destruction, conquest, but whatever. also to destabilize it by being like, give these assholes Wait. weapons of mass destruction. They hear uh, Lois taking a picture, and then they shoot at her, and they're like, ah, oh, look, it's his dame, see? And then <laughs> Superman shows up, and he beats the crap out of them. It's like, there's your Pulitzer. Right, exactly. She does not take his picture... Nor does she name well, him. she's not a photographer. Well, she, no, it's true. That's Jimmy's job. Yeah. <laughs> but she, but she Jimmy have those ain't instincts. here, so she's yeah. taking pictures. Which is why she she's actually makes a point of saying, like, I wish that I had a video camera because that wouldn't have made as much noise as the camera that I took the picture of that, that brought me to their attention. So then she Mannheim... She should have just turned off the, the shutter noise on her camera. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, okay, so um, in 1998... <laughs> Cameras were in their own devices, separate from a telephone. Right. Anyway, and they DSLR had a physical still thing. They, the camera still exists. <laughs> so Mannheim shoots Superman, and it penetrates the skin because he hasn't absorbed enough radiation. Mm. So he's like, "Bah! There's, there's blood coming out of me. I've never <laughs> seen that. <laughs> what is this red discharge? And it hurts. So Lois pulls out a gun because her father is, you know, military and trained her how to shoot. Mm. And so she shoots Mannheim through the hand, disarming him. And then... What are you uh, doing? Set her a mass. I know. He, he, she he didn't train her very him. well. She just handed him. Yes. <laughs> oh. So then uh, the, uh, so the SCU shows up, which is the special units uh, force of uh, Metropolis, led by Maggie Sawyer. Are and these names going to be on the test later? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, like, look, Mannheim's the bad guy who is the... Of Mannheim's Intergang. the gangster. Yeah, M Mannheim oh, runs again inner gang. Uh, and Maggie they're... Sawyer and uh, Dan Turpin are of the uh, special units force of Metropolis. Does he look like um, Kirby in this yes. version? Yes. Big eyebrows. Listen, that's got to be awkward because, uh, what is it, Oberon? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. You mean in, in the Mr. Miracle series from Tom King and Mitch Garrett? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Mannheim gets arrested and uh, uh, they're just like, hey, what, what do we do with this dude over here who beat them all up and has no clothes on? I guess take him to the hospital and, and he's shot, wearing, right? like the top part of a shirt and some pants. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, Weird choices. Turpin's like, so what's your story, buddy? And he's like, I am Kal-El of Apocalypse. I am the captain of, the, of Darkseid's guard. All right, smart guy, you're coming with me. <laughs> so then Superman like throws him across the room. They all try to get him. One of them just, Maggie Sawyer just goes, Boys, and just tases him. <laughs> he just <laughs> drops like a sack of potatoes. Nice. Um, so he's vulnerable to. Well, he's he's not quite fully charged yet. That's how he was able to take a bullet from. Wouldn't Manon. he just be like blood just shooting out of him as he's fighting all these guys? It was like a superficial wound. Oh, okay. Mm. 
So it's probably already partially healed or something. Exactly. So they arrest him, they throw him in the in the paddy wagon, and they take him away. Meanwhile, you know, when Highfather sent the new Genesisians uh, to Earth, that included the bugs. So Forager and the bugs are just running around Metropolis like, oh, there's fruit and food all over this part. Look at this bounty. <laughs> so Metropolis is being invaded by monsters. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, right. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, that invasion of bugs throws off the driver of the paddy wagon, smashes into a telephone pole, Superman disarms his uh, captors, frees himself, and then runs around. So Superman like kind of has a mental breakdown where he's like, Ty Father told me that I'm from this place and I had this destiny, but I was raped by Dark Side. What the hell? Ah, no, I'm a child of Dark Side. Screw this place. Brr. Like, Smash. I will never renounce Dark Side. And then uh, while he's yelling, dude, nobody's asking you to renounce Dark Side. That's exactly right. <laughs> but like, you know, you but you shook my faith. Right. Uh, meanwhile, Bibbo Babowski and oh, Jimmy no. Olsen oh, see him. Uh, Jimmy Olsen, uh, I guess, not galvanized by the uh, uh, sudden and inevitable arrival of the real Superman. Uh, doesn't already have a photography career at the Daily Planet. He looks like a child. <laughs> Instead, he's a street urchin who oh. like lives on the streets with Bebo. Without Superman being here, I just never got my <laughs> life started. Yeah. Well, you know, I started out as a photographer and then I quit. Because I had nothing to take after, pictures uh, of. one year because nothing exciting happened. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm here. <laughs> taking pictures of crimes. Yeah, you know, cool. crimes that nobody was stopping. And I was like, nobody wants to see that. No. So I quit. Well, everyone sees that. It's everywhere. Right. It's rampant here. So Superman uh, picks up a car, not unlike the first <laughs> cover of Action Comics. Right, and Pippo's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. What are you doing? Well, because... <laughs> Superman is Somebody ranting. owns that car, man. He doesn't even care about that. It's <laughs> Superman is ranting and raving and screaming and yelling. And Bebo's like, I saw a lot of that after the war. This oh. guy must be a soldier. He's got PTSD. Yes, and I had that for a while. You saw a lot of people lifting up cars after the war, Bibbo? Well, you know, they're all shapes and sizes. So <laughs> he's like, hey, <laughs> hey, pal, put the car down and listen to old Bibbo here. And so Superman's like, what? Like, you come to me in peace and talk to me? Like, I've acted like a psycho when you're talking to me like a normal person? Right, and he's like, it's cool, man. You were in war. War makes a corpse of us all. And he's like, <laughs> I was in war. Yeah, and he's like, That's okay. true. So Bibbo's like, here's an old dirty trench coat. Wear this, because you're not wearing any shirts. So he's like, come on with me. And so that he and Jimmy and Superman, like, all go. He's like, are you taking me to your Armageddo? Yeah. <laughs> More or less, yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, so Bibbo, uh, you know, he tries to ingratiate himself with Superman. Superman's like, what, what do you know of war? And he's like, well, I got a steel plate in my head that says that I know quite a bit about <laughs> war, man. Uh, so meanwhile... Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think if I said I had a steel plate in my head and I came from Apocalypse, you would know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's about. probably a lot of people with steel plates in their heads like, in Apocalypse. Oh, you went for that upgrade. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's not an upgrade, buddy. <laughs> ting, ting. And actually, it is an upgrade, as you'll see later. Uh, so... Oh. Uh, Darkseid is mulling over the escape pod that Kal-El arrived in, and he's like, I've essentially cracked all the technology and uh, uh, you know Kryptonian super science from this, except for the data disk it came with that gave you know, him the, the, the marching orders from his would-be father. Uh, I, and I know Metron, you know it. Metron's like, I do know it. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he's <laughs> like, well, you need to tell me what it is. And he's like, I'm not gonna do that. And uh, he tries to, and while he's talking, he's trying to leave. And Darkseid's like, I built that chair. I know what that chair does. You're not going anywhere. And then oh. he goes, and he Omega beams him. Metron's dead. Oh. Yeah, because Metron's too powerful to be kept alive. That's right. Well, he's like, you lied to me. You won't give me the information that I know you cracked years ago. Mm -hmm. So you die. So I'm killing you now. That's right. I'm cleaning up. I, I just destroyed New Genesis. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just killing you. So Dan Turpin I mean. and the SCU are uh, doing their due diligence of putting the New genesis -ian Weaponry into lockup. Oh, they actually managed to capture anyone? Yeah, they. Oh no, they arrested Mannheim and uh, all the ne'er do wells that worked there. The bugs were just running around. Oh, oh, oh. No, the earlier in the yeah. warehouse. Okay, right. I forgot that yeah. they had that no. right, attack there. Right. Yeah. right. So, so Turpin and Maggie, like, they put all the weapons, these crazy super science weapons, into the evidence lockers, but not before playing with it first. Turpin's like, look at this crazy space gun, and it shoots <laughs> we'll a hole through the entire. Like, fire like, oh god. Yeah, but they did hire an expert to help us with this science. It's Lex Luthor, and Lex Luthor has. A a snazzy goatee. Ah. I can't grow it on the top of my head. So I'll throw I'll it on my face. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So Luther's there. Uh, Lois like, all right, well, I'm gonna go because Luther's an asshole. <laughs> and uh, Luther's like, hey, listen, I've been figuring this out. Like, I've, I, I appreciate you giving me this information. Also, there's parademons here, and they're running around. And I, one of, the, one of them got shot by somebody, and so I recovered it, and I'm, I'm figuring it out. But like, we, we are essentially being invaded by aliens. Right. I'm gonna save the day somehow. Yes. 
So Bibbo gives Superman a burger, and it's from Big Belly. He's like, you gotta have a Big nice. Belly Nice. <laughs> and uh, Superman's like, this is some b by the gods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is freaking amazing. So, uh, uh, oh, I should also mention that um, a classic holdover from Superman comics is that, you know, we got Crime Alley in Gotham, mm -hmm. we got the Armageddos on Apocalypse. The, 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 the ghettos of Metropolis are called Suicide Slum. Yes, I remember that. So they're in Suicide Slum. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it paints a pretty picture. I, yeah. I, th I feel like in regular Metropolis with regular Superman. Yeah. <laughs> He would do something about so, suicide slums. Someone yeah. might put in a, a motion to the city to go. Maybe we should rename. Well, this I area. think it's more of a nickname. Crime Alley is actually called Park Row. Oh uh, right. Oh. Well, so, wouldn't, wouldn't you like? I don't know. Try to fix it up a little bit. Yeah, I you mean, have think, Superman. Yeah, but he can't be there all the time. Yeah, and he doesn't have like money to give people. So yeah. he's like, I go there and I he stop crimes and stuff. People. But like, he does. He knows at least one who would who, buy it. Yeah. Like, hey, don't let anything that happened to you happen here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a couple of like parademons are screwing around in the free clinic, and so it's Armageddon inside. Like it's, it's fires and explosions and stuff. And uh, Bibbo runs in because he hears that there's somebody in trouble. And Superman's like, what are you doing? And he's like, there's somebody <laughs> in there. He's like, oh, I so so you're going to cause a great deed to receive accolades in the, you know, in the Armageddon or whatever. Right. And he's like, no, man, it's just the right thing to do. <laughs> so then he runs in. What's Superman your problem? Falls, he's like, what? <laughs> I've so got to see this like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what this really yeah. yields. So he, free he saves a couple of kids, and the kids are like, there's a doctor upstairs. They didn't get out. And so Superman's like, I'll get the doctor while you... Let's not go get in the hang of this. I'll go yeah. get the doctor and remove him from this building. Exactly. So uh, Superman arrives just in time to watch a new god be murdered by a uh, parademon, but also rescues the doctor. He kills the parademon because he's mm. like, hey, I, I, don't do that. Hey, I came here to save somebody and you're killing him? Yeah. Uh, that was Fastback, who's ironically really fast, but uh, not fast enough to be uh, not killed by a friggin' parademon's laser blast. So as he's, as, he's, as he's explaining to the doctor in the burning inferno that they are uh, currently in Oh, that, that was a parademon. Yeah. They come from Apocalypse. And this is Fastback. He comes from New Genesis. <laughs> I myself am an orphan from a doomed planet called Krypton. It's like, Jesus Christ, we're all gonna die. Uh, but he also notices that, like, the, that Fastback has a mother box. Which is, a, oh. which is New Genesis technology, mostly only New Genesis people. The Apocalypse doesn't have access to that. Okay. So he takes it with him. It's like, this is my ticket off this rock. Maybe. Right. Uh, so he takes her into his arms and he's like, the flames are not any, any hotter than they are in the fire pits of Apocalypse. She's like, who cares about that? I what? Wanna, I don't want to <laughs> die. So he jumps out the window and uh, saves her. And then everyone there is like, hooray for this guy, for saving this lady. And he's like, that's weird. <laughs> then Lois busts in. She, but I didn't defeat anybody. Why am I yeah, getting I cheered? anyone. Why are you? Yeah. Why are you cheering for me? Uh, so Lois shows up, but she observes everyone talking. Uh, you know, to, to Superman. Mm -hmm. So she's like, "All right, clearly this guy is more important than I thought he was mm -hmm. when I abandoned him right. uh, on the pier and then at the warehouse." So you're coming with me. So he grabs Superman. And he takes him away from his adoring fans. I noticed that you got shot earlier. You have no scar. What's going on? He's like, yeah, it, it, it healed. And I'm stronger and I feel faster. And I, I was able to walk through fire. It was great <laughs> without my armor. The new Genesis people are here. Darkseid must be coming to kill them because that's like the wrap up right. for his plan, which is to kill all of new Genesis. Right. And she's like, wait, so like <laughs> there's a guy named Darkseid and he's coming here. And he's like, oh yeah, that's not good. Yeah, you. no, you're all going to die. Oh yeah, it ain't good for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, it's nice to meet you, though. Yeah, I guess <laughs> you seem you seem nice. So then they are both uh, waylaid by a couple of new gods, who have uh, abilities. Mm. Uh, one of whom is a cowboy. Okay. And there's a there's another new Genesisian uh -huh. named Dreamer who can create illusions, mm -hmm. which is what confuses and waylays Superman and Lois. Mm. And then Barda shows up and she blasts Dreamer. And then Superman beats the crap out of the rest of the new gods. And he's like, Barda, now I got a friendly face. Thank you. We got to get the hell out of here. We got to get back to dark side. Right. And then uh, Ryan and the rest of the I out of this, this stupor that I was in where I thought I should save people. That's clearly that was, stupid. That was stupid. Uh, then Orion and the new gods show up and they're like, we're going to kill your ass. <laughs> and, uh, and Lois is like, whoa, everybody. Hey, hang on a minute. 
I'm I gotta get out of here. Yeah, let me get. Let me move out of the way first. I think we need to arrange a lock-in at the rec center so or you guys can get like, this out of your system. Work this out. Click. Yeah. yeah. She didn't Hello, even Pulitzer. She takes no pictures, <laughs> which I'm like, whoa, yeah. Let's take a picture of freaking Carl Mannheim. We're like. And his super soaker, but not well, like, literal aliens. Well, I'm not taking Comic-Con's pictures of this bullshit. Having this alleyway back here, and you're like, yeah. yeah it's, it's like, fun. yeah, I, I don't care for those movies. Right. Uh, like, <laughs> everybody's dropping Dark Side's name. Like, Dark Side is coming. Dark Side's law. Dark Side's God. He's evil. He's the. She's like, well, okay. What is a Dark Side? <laughs> How do you spell it? She's like, okay, D R. D A R K S S I D E. They're like, <laughs> look at this what? foolish mortal. You must have, you must, you might as well be one of those bugs under the surface. <laughs> and that's what brings the uh, new Genesis, or yeah, the new gods and the apocalypse folk together. Yes. Right, making Lois. fun of Lois Lane. Yeah, yeah, as the Earthlings and how stupid and feeble we are, <laughs> and how weirdly we spell things. Well, why don't we team up and rule over these pitiful people? Right. They're mad at Superman because he destroyed New Genesis and killed the planet. Right. And she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. is that what you did? <laughs> Did you really kill a planet? And he's like, okay, we were at war, and yeah. Yeah. I'm and, a soldier. Yeah. Well, okay, I didn't kill the planet. The, the bomb that, that I brought I and activated it. didn't actually kill the planet. <laughs> that killed the planet. I just showed up. I'm more like a car. I'm, I'm like the messenger. Don't yeah. shoot me. Please. Uh, so this throws Orion into a rage, which causes him to be so angry that he starts to take on the visage of Darkseid himself. Oh. Is uh, that a thing? Does he do that? Sure. Do the other new gods know that he's Darkseid's son? Is I like feel like most of them know. I run on the planet, it's like, okay, shh, shh, everybody cool, everybody cool. Everybody yeah. Don't cool. tell him. I feel like there's no way they don't. So uh, before Orion's killing blow can hit Superman, the mother box that he carried threw itself in the way, because they're sentient as well. Uh, and uh, I'll save you. Yeah, the, this robot. I don't even know you. <laughs> Why would you save me? Because it knows. Oh. It's, 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 uh, it's unquestionable technology. Okay. So it jumps in the way of Orion's blast and then affixes itself to Kal-El oh. and forms into the crest of the House of El. Is that a thing that mother boxes do? It does a lot. It's, mother boxes can do many things. <laughs> Mother boxes have many powers. Ma- mother ping, boxes, ping. before they used to be big stupid cubes, they were, they looked like Ziggy from Quantum Leap. Yeah. Where it was like the little communicator. I loved mother boxes back in the day. I, I, I didn't understand them and I thought I, I thought it was confusing whenever characters that weren't Superman were using them. Mm-hmm. But when they were like, oh yeah, no, they do all kinds of shit and we don't even understand them. It's like, and, and also they can think. Right. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. The words of High Father ring in his ears and, uh, uh Orion is like, what the crap is this? Like, my dad is like giving you mother boxes and he's and destinies, and I'm crap. And Larry is like, oh, dude, it's gonna be cool. Like, hey, listen. Hey, 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 no, hey, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. it's not. Don't try to calm me down. Hey, come on, we're, we're chill here. We're chill. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, cold look, blue ocean. You know? Look at how cool. I'm very relaxed. Yeah. Follow suit. So Superman's like, I, I, I don't know why, but the uh, first for the first time in my life, I'm actually starting to have re- regrets. And feeling like and a I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. And Light Ray's like, "That's great, man. That's good for you. It's a good step in the right direction. Come on." And uh, and Lois like, "Oh, wait. <laughs> I need it, to get out." Well, because they're talking about like the war and how it's <laughs> coming here. It's like, I'm sorry. Before you guys continue with like saying a bunch of crap, I don't know anything about. <laughs> are you talking about? You're saying that there's like the devil is coming here <laughs> to wage war. And they're like, oh yeah, no, he's, yeah. That, oh. that's how could I, you I, stop him? It's like cute that you call him the devil. Right. The worst thing that could happen is that Darkseid gets the anti-life equation because <laughs> that would eliminate free will. Then, and then you'd he, be in real trouble. Well, then we'd be in real trouble. And you wouldn't <laughs> even know it because he'd control all the brains and wills of every sentient being on this planet and right. every other planet. You think him coming here and like killing people is bad. He could, he, he could, could take over take everything. over your will. And, yeah. Yeah. That would be quite that. mid. It's true. <laughs> But Darkseid believes, this is why Earth is so important, it's why it's always been part of Darkseid's plans, right. that the anti-life equation it's rests within the genome of Earthlings, of humanity. So that's another reason oh. why he's interested in Earth. So while, uh, you know, cause that's why, and that's why there's parademons and crap on Earth. Right, uh, they're you looking know, We're, we're, we're going to kill the new Genesis people, but also we're going to grab people and bring them to Desaad's macabre labs right. and just pull their information out until we can get the anti-life equation. Right, it's uh, a twofer. Yeah, and th- so we see this like gross uh, Dr. Frankensteinian horror lab where, you know, he's just pulling brains out of heads and he's like, oh, nope, no anti-life equation here, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you know anything about the anti-life equation. It's, or it's genetics. Seemingly no. <laughs> uh, but, you know, things work differently on apocalypse. Like, it, it's more mystical anyway. Right. So, uh, 
So this is a little like Sailor Moon when they're trying to find the, the legendary money. silver crystal, Le legendary silver crystal, or the other season. Oh, when do they pull organs out of people to try to find it? Well, no, oh. but I mean, like, you but know, it is a children's cartoon. But so. you are trying to find the, the one, right? <laughs> right. Like you you t try to take their energy, but then there's a later season where they're trying to find the pure heart crystal, and they do take people's heart crystals oh. out. Oh, don't take my heart crystal. I yeah, need, I need that. that. Yeah, you I think you, you do need that. Okay, you right. do you do need that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, mm -hmm. sorry. Interesting. So Lex takes the armor that Superman discarded in the bay out mm. of the bay and starts analyzing it, and he's like, what's science? science? That's right. And he's like, and he's explaining it to Lois because Lois is now part of the story. And, uh, <laughs> and so, he's like, and you're stupid, so. Uh, so I need to explain it out loud. <laughs> And, uh, and he's just, right, and he's like, "Yeah, man, like I'm gonna use this. This is some great armor. I'm gonna make me a power suit out of this." He's not. Uh, instead, Damn. He's, what? No, he's like, "Oh man, I'm going to take this and like I'll be able to weaponize it and use it to build an army of super uh, armored soldiers that can defend us against the incoming armies of whatever this dark sea okay, guy well, is." Okay, well, they have spaceships and stuff, and they left like a day ago, so like that's not gonna happen. No, actually, I've had plenty of time to think about it and prepare How? because. I recovered scot free from that alley, and he, oh. huh. uh, in exchange for a what looks to be an all terrain wheelchair, <laughs> he's given me all the secrets and, of New Genesis and, and he Apocalypse. And can just sit I in see. this until he gets the chair of Metron. Yes. So, <laughs> so scot free, M Mr. Miracle is like, I am bitter and miserable and angry. I don't care who dies in this situation. But, I just want to get mine. But hello, Lois. Yes. Would you like to trade? Right. Hello. She's like, absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> Lois like shows Scott a picture of Superman. She's like, do you recognize this guy? He's like, oh man. Duh. If I ever see that guy, he is gonna get it. From you? Well, you know, through me. You know, <laughs> I, I, uh, well, I will through my machinations. Exactly. He will have problems. Yeah. He so, will rue the day that I he, saw his picture. And <laughs> knew where he was. It reminded me of when he paralyzed me. <laughs> So Superman goes with Barda, and they're like flying this hover jet ski, and she brings him to the bay. He goes in the water. He can't find his armor. Uh, when he resurfaces, oh, armor. Yeah, when he resurfaces, there's already an armored goon squad led by Luther oh. uh, to go and dispatch Superman. And they defeated Barda. Yeah. Okay. So, so Luther did a really good job building these things. I mean, they're made of the armor. We didn't of have a whole lot of apocalypse. time. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of days. Oh, has, I don't know. Uh, time moves. Uh, he's like, oh, I had them completely built except for a armor. Except for like that, well, that armor is different. Like, I knew about the oh, armor that I knew about the metals and so forth that Scott Free was able to help oh. me learn about. But like this armor is going to be used. Oh, this is and for something else. You assume that if there were more books, he would have built a power suit out of the Superman. It's suit. just like it writes itself. I and know. He'd be yeah. like, "This is for me." Absolutely. Uh, so they beat the crap out of him, and Lois's narration dictates that, like, when I interviewed him later in this story, you'll never see. He never, he didn't even, Superman didn't even know he could fly be, when he was flying because he was so angry at these assailants. And how he, dare they touch me? And Barda, and so uh, oh. he starts punching them. So one of the Lex Luthor drones or dudes opens up. A Lex Luthor equivalent of a boom tube. Oh wow! Which they call a mouse trap, and then what? the other guy like shoots Superman into it, which teleports Superman to a holding cage run by Luthor. Designed for Superman. Yes, and well, designed by Scott Free, so it's inescapable ah. for Superman. I they don't see. know Superman is going to be like powered by you know the sun. Right, everything. but they know he's like strong. They know he's strong and stuff. Yeah. So he goes in there. They hit him with nerve gas, and they try to knock him out. And how's that go? Uh, well, for them, okay. because Scott also is like, screw this guy. I want him to know what it's like to be immobilized, like I am. So he hits him with like a polymer that essentially seizes him into something not unlike Amber. Okay. So now he can't move, and he's like, all right, Luther. Now I can bust out what you call champagne and celebrate. <laughs> uh, but then Darkseid. Pour it in my arrives. mouth, please. Yeah. <laughs> Pour it in my mouth, please. <laughs> but then Darkseid arrives. Oh no! And he's like, that's mine. Gimme. And Luther's like, oh, Mighty Dark Side. <laughs> I've heard so I much about you. I can't believe that you would work with some brute like Mannheim. I would serve you so much better. And wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, you're gonna win this war. There's no friggin' way you're not gonna beat everyone here. And I would like a place at your table. <laughs> and Dark Side is like, you have nothing to offer me, little man. And Omega sanctions him. <laughs> this, this seemingly vaporizes him. And in fact, Lois's, de Lois's description says, Lex Luthor was the first casualty of the war. 
but actually is teleported to Granny Goodness where he'll be tortured by her. Oh, even better. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Or forged into a... Uh, Weapon of destruction yeah. by the Furies. Or forged into a house husband. You'll, 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 you'll <laughs> see what, re- what, is, what is the result of the Furies and Granny it they is make, hilarious. They make a power suit out of him. Yeah, they give him a suit, all right. So, uh, so Darcy's like, all right, Scott, you got a new chair. You can have the Mobius chair. And all I ask for your return is you leave Kel alone and for your undying allegiance. And he's like, okay, I'm in. Sure. So Scott gets the new chair. As long as I can have a chair that's cool. Well, and I can, I can like know everything and go anywhere. Yeah. And decides like, I want the chair. Oh yeah, like you were ever in line for that. So, uh, <laughs> oh. so Superman is sent back to Apocalypse for re-education. Right. That's an old Treehouse of Horror joke. Uh, well, what is all this stuff happening to him? Oh, they are re-educating him. Oh. It's like sending him to Siberia after being in the Western world. <laughs> okay. You know, he, he's right. he, he went native. Right. Even you saved one person. You from saved one person, yep. and then and then willingly then you wanted have to, to come save back. everyone. Yeah. It's like the inverse of the Batman. If I kill one person, I'll... I kill every person. Yeah. Yeah. If I save one person, I'll save every person. <laughs> Darkseid's like, that's his flaw. Yeah, I gotta yep. stop that. No, we're not doing that. No, 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 no. <laughs> so Darkseid... this in the bud. <laughs> so Darkseid unlocks the message and translates the message uh-huh. from Jor-El. Oh, I'm sure it's accurate as right. well. Right, and the Jor-El message is, you will be a conqueror when you arrive there. The yellow radiation will give you power unlike anything that world has ever seen and you will rule it. Like you have been destined, Kal-El. Ooh. That is what Darkseid says. Like you've been they're destined. They're ants, Kal-El. <laughs> yeah. Treat them like that, ants. And see... that, that's what they're saying. Right. No, um, yeah. it, it says it. I think that it, it's true. Oh, really? Like I you think, think that, that in this alternate Krypton, that's what they said? Yeah, because like mm. they're creepy and half robot and stuff. The Darkseid essentially is like, you have always been bred for conquest. It's just that I intercepted you and made you even better. So why did he, so he didn't, Darkseid didn't know what was on the disc until no. just now? Yeah. And then he's like, oh, well, this is perfect. Yes. Okay. And that should hopefully snap you out of, like, you being an altruist. I just assumed he was like lying. the real message. And Me then- too. Yeah. But, like, never comes like, up This is why again. I need to crack this disc no, so I, I can, like, manipulate it. Oh, it'd be great if it was, like, you will be, you, you know, you'll be a savior to them. You'll be a light to, like, help them. No, that does not happen. And mm. it never comes up again. So I think it's just like no, this is why the this is why the Kryptonians look so friggin' weird. Because they are weird. Because they're weird and, and they're scary and they're also don't conquerors. feel bad that they blew yeah. up because yeah. they're jerks. And they're godless heathens. They don't believe in the source. <laughs> hey, b- by the way, Darcy, if this doesn't work out, there's another chick floating around. Yeah, yeah, yo, and she's even more mad than he is. <laughs> just go get her. It's fine. And they're like a dog. So Kala laments, like, I want to serve you, Mighty Darkseid, but I've been to this planet and I've seen what they do, and I, I can no longer serve you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to, I, I want can't. to, but I can't. It's just, this is who I am. He's like, no. No, it's not. You're not like that, no. Yeah. No, you're not like them. Don't talk like them. Yeah. You're, you're not. not one of them. <laughs> yeah. So Superman laments that he can't serve Darkseid, and Darkseid's like, oh, you will. Oh, you're going to serve me. Oh, like, I want you to hear serve it. me so no, much. Like, I can't serve you. No, nope, you're totally going to serve me. And meanwhile, it's like, hey, I cracked it. I got the antelope equation. It was in this RNA. And he's like, oh, well, oh, great. Oh. Well, right. we, well, uh, we'll just use it on kal then. He doesn't. He's like, oh, no, oh. to Earth, let's go. So oh. they go to Earth, what? and they take over. What? What? Yep, they built a big tower that transmits the, 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 the antelope equation, breaks the wills of men, all of Metropolis now looks similar to Apocalypse, and it's full of flying parademons and trash. The human be- race is being led by, uh, you know, Apocalyptian terror dogs and so forth. Couldn't he have done this anyway, though? Just invading with parademons and yeah, stuff? Like, what would humans would have done? The problem is people resist. You know, but, no, if, if I break their will, it's even faster. Yeah, then, I see. Then it's a little will. easier. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll be like, hey, stuff throw, it. Throw a brick at you or whatever. <laughs> exactly. Right. I don't remember. Well, I, I would have lost some parademons in that battle. Yeah. I, the lives of my parademons are precious. No, if there's a way that I could win less. without losing any troops, then yeah. clearly we're going no, to do it's, that. No, it's, like, I think it's just, he's a piece of shit. Like, Darkseid is like, no, I, yeah, I could beat them, but they would resist. And if they resist in their heart, like, I know I need to break their spirit. I need to break their will. I need to know oh. I own them. Lock, stock, and barrel, heart and soul. I gotta. We need have to it use all. a magic device to break their will. Yeah. yeah, I need to know if I Seems call like to them from I mean, yeah, on I'm a, a high cliff. They they come down to me. Exactly, come down to me, child. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's what he wants. See, yeah. there's no, there's no. He stole a doom. <laughs> what victory is there in like? using a magical device to make people right. bow to you. The real victory is in making them want to serve you. I think you're right, but also, I've had that. I made them do that in Apocalypse. It was not satisfying enough. Mm, interesting. 
So or like I'm just a I'm I'm a dick. Yeah, he's a monster. I'm a sore he is, loser. He is evil. Like he, there's no rationalization. You know, right. It's like if I if I win, I have to come up with something more evil to want. Right. You know. So he's on Earth, and he's like, "This is amazing. I'm having a great time." <laughs> and Doctor Bedlam's there, you know, chumming it up. And finally, Mannheim shows up. And he's like, "Hey, listen. Thanks for uh, you know giving me the special earplugs that block out that crazy transmission, so I could like you know be one of your guys." <laughs> but uh, we got to route out like more you know insurrectionists, mm. and so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna need to have more guys. You're gonna have to unlock them from this crazy, you know, Right, signal. I need my crew. Right, and, and Darkseid's like, who is this person who thinks that I need his advice? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Longshanks for fucking Braveheart. Just like, who is this person talking to me as though I need to hear his voice? And uh, he's like, hey, buddy, I know that you're supposed to be the big cheese around here, but he pulls out his gun and, Ome and, and he just gets Omega Beam. Oh my God. Yeah, How I'm, stupid is he? Yeah, it's just, well, that's that's the kind of idiot asshole yeah. organized criminals are. Right. They just, they're just so pompous, they don't know death when it's staring them in the face. <laughs> Or not. From, with their backs facing Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So meanwhile, Kal-El has been in the pit of despair with, with, with Desaad. I, I love this. That's just, that is life. Yep. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work, 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 work. Like, oh. oh. Doing yeah. what? Whatever. Now what? Menial shit. I don't know, exporting more fire and misery. Yeah. Right. To, to, are you going to take over other planets now? Like, what is yeah, the... that's what, the plan. Yeah, oh, no, okay. we're going we're gonna to spread this to every known sentient race across okay. the galaxy. Uh, it seems like it shouldn't take too long with the anti-life equation. Uh, well, yeah, but you got to broadcast from a big tower and shit. So <laughs> Desaad takes savoring out... savoring it, you know. He is enjoying mm. it. It's like it's... really like taking your time with your dessert. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So Desaad takes out this apocalyptic band saw. He's like, here we go. I'm going to open you up. Up. I'm gonna saw you. Yeah, and uh, then a he's just saw, and then a, a <laughs> severed head they're keeping in a jar like explodes. Why? Oh, because it just convenient needs to to distract Desaad so that Cal can what? get the buzz saw and free himself, and then beat the crap out of Desaad with the saw, not cut him in half or anything, and then take the mother box that had transformed into the S crest. It's drawing him to it, so he takes it. Uh, meanwhile, so you put it on. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, because okay. it's gotta be Superman. Uh, so Bibbo, uh, he has the metal plate in his head, so he is not affected by the anti-life equation. And neither is Lois because... Because she needs to in the new well, Genesis. you've won enough full surprises. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, it insulates you. That's true. Well, it protects you from, like, horseshit propaganda <laughs> right. like the right. anti-life right. equation. She's knowledgeable enough to yeah. know the truth and not be swayed. She has integrity. Right. <laughs> Journalistic integrity. <laughs> so she grabs Bibbo and goes underground. Jimmy, unfortunately, he's a drone. Uh, so they evade some uh, some, some parademons while they go into the subway system. Light ray destroys them, and uh, they they were they, they recede into like the museum of natural. Oh right, because there are still new gods here. Exactly. Where the hell were they? They went underground. Well, they're like, like we can't forces. fight. They're like, he's got the internet. Dark side. Screw it. It's over. Basically okay, that. Let's yeah. Just be quiet just, let's just go hide. Here. Yes. Well, so they're like, all right. I was a big jerk to the bugs, so it's cool. They're, we'll, they'll let us hang out with them. Yeah. Well, the bugs are going to come into play. So oh, okay. uh, uh, so scot free now the ruler of the Mopi's chair arrives to meet the, the, the resistance. Now the version of, of himself where he's kind of like Charles Xavier. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> into a more mobile... Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does look like Chuck's floating chair. So uh, he's like, hey guys, listen. Um, uh, Orion, Darkseid's your dad. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Peace! <laughs> and Orion's like, what? what? And Lightroom's like, hey man, hey, it's cool. He's like, it's not cool. Nothing will ever be cool again. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, no, man, no, I didn't no. know. <laughs> who cares about that? Listen, it doesn't matter who you are. It matters what you do, you know? Right. So uh, while that's happening, Superman is like, I got to get the crap out of this miserable planet I'm on. He's on Apocalypse. Right. I'm going to go back to Earth and save everybody. So Granny Goodness is like, hey. And she unleashes her gimp in the form of oh Lex Luthor. Oh, my God. And she's like, oh, I guess you didn't spend enough time in Granny Goodness's care, so I'm going to have to teach you a lesson about obedience. And unleashes, you know, a bunch of her drone boys. And he's like, you have, you, you would fight me with children? <laughs> and then you, his, his outfit is revealed. It's just this, it looks exactly like his other armor, but it has but a Superman logo yeah. on it. Yeah, sort and of Superman sort logo. Of, yeah. yeah. So he beats up Granny, and Bardo's like, nice! I've always wanted to see that. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, yeah. And she's like, listen. I've always wanted to watch you beat up an old woman. I always wanted to see that old woman get beaten up by somebody. Uh, but yeah, it, has, it is turning me on. Listen. 
Hey. I don't know if it's the gimp on the ground or what you just did, but <laughs> something is working. Or Granny Goodness mutilated body, I, but it's, you know, well, let's see it. It's Look, doing it for me. It's working. <laughs> so like she goes, "All right, listen. You've beaten Granny. We have boom tube technology. Let's leave and bang across the cosmos." <laughs> and Superman's like, "There won't be a cosmos to bang on <laughs> if we don't stop dark side on Earth." There won't be a Shire Pippin. <laughs> There'll so, be no cosmos in which to bang. <laughs> I mean, and he makes a good point. So she activates the coordinates and sends him. She's like, all right, she fine, whatever. Too? No, but she does <laughs> take off her red cape oh. that Barta oh. does wear and put it on him. She's okay. like, oh, if you're gonna go on that stupid, useless mission, at least take this cape. At least take this cape and be Superman in it. So then she kisses him and he flies through and she goes, good luck, Kal-El. Scott goes to the source wall, which they call the Promethean wall, mm -hmm. which mm. is the same thing, but it is made up of the Promethean deities and heroes who attempted to access the source. And he goes through the eye, which you'll see later Lex Luthor do in the end of the Justice League Unlimited cartoon. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's like, ah, I didn't know. I, ah, crap, knowing everything is half the battle. So he uh, <laughs> goes in there. So Superman arrives, Light Ray's like, sweet, you're great, I'm great. Everything's great. I'm just such a positive attitude. <laughs> and uh, so, so, so Lois is like, wow, that's you being here might help us lose less hard. Right. Can Superman resist the anti-life equation? Uh, he does. <laughs> I think it's the idea. That's not what that, I asked. I think it's because he's got the mother box that seems to block it. I but, see. Uh, but they also are like, we need to turn off that that tower that's, that right. sends up. And it's funny is they're like, the Dark Side could build another tower. Right. With so slaves you have to and stuff. Defeat Dark Side. So we got to well. beat Dark Side. He's like, yeah. yeah, leave that to me. So well, why doesn't Superman just go real quick and just fly right through the tower and destroy it? Ah, uh, because we need other characters to do things. I see. Mm. So uh, <laughs> we see that it's also interesting because like the no one is on board for the anti life equation plot because even his inner circle, including Wonder Bar, are <laughs> are, are, are commiserating about how once Dark Side uses the anti-life equation on the cosmos. Mm -hmm. He has no need for us. Right. Like, he will kill us. So like maybe we should not let Darkseid win. <laughs> it's in our best interest for him to just always be trying to win and never right. actually yes! win. Yes, <laughs> exactly. He needs to be somewhat incompetent, but not so incompetent. Right, right. that he kills us. And yeah, he notices we gotta have just us. the right level of incompetence. Yep. So uh, Dreamer conjures a similar looking Ditko-esque dream sequence that distracts those people who would probably have joined their cause if they had just asked them to. It's just a and bunch so, of sexy ladies. Yeah, <laughs> and so they fight uh, the bad guys. Superman breaks all their shit and then goes and engages Darkseid. Darkseid's like, you will never be able to beat me because I'm Darkseid. And Darkseid is. That's right. He doesn't, never comes up. No one wow. ever says it. So Darkseid's like, as long as that transmitter still stands, like I've, I've always won. Superman's like, well, then I guess I'll just throw my huge body through it and break it. Why not? Yeah. And, uh, and Darkseid's like, no. And he's Omega Beams him. Oh. And somehow they don't kill him. Is it the mother box? No, it's just his, 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 he's his just strength. Strong. Oh. He's like, I'm the full power. Sun. Yes, he's like this armor. Even like, though I haven't been under that yellow sun in a while because I was being tortured and... Yeah, but I was there for a while getting that... Like, oh, I mean, it was like a week where I was in that secret base with the with the new gods. Exactly. Building this plan. Yeah. yeah. So uh, everyone had a plan. Everybody, or everybody had a, So Superman had a plan. Everybody had a role to, to, to fill. Hmm. Orion had to go and meet and rally the bug forces. <laughs> That's just, why would you do it? You Poetic have, justice. You right. have a guy yeah. who's like the ultimate hype man. Yeah, light beam could go do that. Why can't I light do it? Ray. Light ray. Light ray. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, because, because I, I think light ray would be on this plan is because Orion needed to learn humility. So Orion learns the value of these bugs. Well, so, why would Orion agree to that? He'd be like, no, I'm not doing that. Because he's kind Make of light beam do it. But because Illumination Superman will punch you if you don't. so good at it. Yeah. What? It's light ray. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> Orion leads the bugs and his heart grows three sizes that day. Really? Yeah. Oh. He's like, oh wow, these guys are fierce warriors. I have respect <laughs> for them now. Bug people are great warriors. Yeah, and the bug people are also resourceful and they can get into places that most of the new guys wouldn't think to go. So they take down the tower themselves. Oh. And they just LED swarm it and rip it apart. doing while this is happening? Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, so Orion goes. No, I'm and seriously. What's Bright Guy up to? Yeah, what is he? Light Ray. 
Light Ray is really important. I You'll know. see later. He's nice. He's great. I love Light Ray. So, so Orion joins <laughs> Superman to fight Darkseid, as is uh, prophesized. Mm. So then Darkseid is like, oh no, y you, you lose, because I've got the anti-mother box. And you're like, come on. <sighs> Do we really? Just use the Omega beams. But uh, he busts out the, the He's anti- like, I didn't make this thing to not use it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I, I built it myself, right? you can tell. And it's got a very childishly simplistic name because it's from the fourth world. So he, Shut up, I worked hard on that too. So he used the anti-mother box, which like cancels out mother boxes. So like Superman doesn't have the mother box anymore and Orion's new Genesis tech doesn't work anymore. And uh, Oh, that's like a pretty big- It's a big deal. Like radius on that. Yeah, well they're both right next to each other. Oh, so, okay. Foolish mistake. Yeah, so it breaks, you know, it screws up Orion and he falls, and Superman doesn't have the mother box, and now it's just Superman, which is what he was fine with anyway. Right. So Superman fights uh, Darkseid, it's a big, fierce, awesome battle, uh, but Darkseid gets the upper hand and like, jumps on his head and just starts, sort of, starts omega beaming him. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Light Ray is like, all right, listen, Lois, you should probably get out of here. <laughs> it's all going crabbed. Then, who is Scott Lois shows cradling? Up, uh, Orion. Ah. Uh. So Orion's just like, because Mother Box is connected to his soul, and so when the anti-Mother Box killed the Mother Box, like part of his soul died as well. Uh, that seems complicated. It is, but that's all that, that's all the evidence we will get for it. So okay. it's, it's seemingly simplistic. Is that part of his? Nope. Ca can it? Oh, shit. It, well, it doesn't really. It's sure. You know, it's it, whatever. We needed oh. to get Orion off the board. Is Scott right. Free super old now? He he has seen shit that turned him white. <laughs> Okay. And he's like, hey guys. No, it, it, it literally, it made his hair go white and he went blind oh. from all the truth he, looks, he learned. He looks older too. Yeah, no, just, he's you know. a little bit wrinkled. He's got, some, he's got some source wall miles on him. <laughs> well, that'll do it. But uh, he's like, hey, listen, I was, I was, I was angry and resentful. I, I, I took the chair in exchange for dark sides. Yeah. You know, whatever, and I learned a lot. Okay, well now you can use the chair for good. Light Ray then goes to Superman and uses his Light Ray powers to charge Superman and bring him back from the brink of death. Oh. So Superman faces Darkseid, he's like, oh, you, you, oh, we haven't seen the last of me, let's do this. Right. So I while they're no battling, uh, you know, Light Ray is like, I've, I've sacrificed a lot of my Light Ray powers uh -oh. to fuel Superman, he's gonna need another charge, and then Dr. Bedlam stabs Light Ray through the back. And, uh, Leaves Light there Ray. There will be no more charge. No, well, it's Light Ray's gonna die. Yeah. Mm. And so. Light Bright, no. <laughs> so Scott Free busts out some technology that will imprison uh, Dr. Bedlam's ability to hop bodies from his con with his consciousness. So we don't have to worry about Dr. Bedlam anymore. And I'm like, mm. did we ever? <laughs> so well, he just killed Light, Light, Ray. Bright, yeah. Light Ray, so we gotta do something to him to make it like. Even. Well, yeah. we, could just, we could just punch him. It's cute because, like, you know, Orion is dying, yeah. and Light Ray has fallen next to Light, next to Orion. Mm. So Light Ray and Orion are together, and Light Ray is like, "I have to use the last of my powers to fuel Superman because he's the only one who could beat Darkseid." And Orion's like, "No, friend, please, like, don't sacrifice yourself. Like, you're too not for him. Not for, not for that not asshole. For him. He killed New Genesis. <laughs> I'm gonna go feral. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> done with that. There. So then Light Ray blasts Superman with the last of his Light Ray abilities, which supercharges him, and envelops his armor so that like Superman is wielding more like a part of Light Ray mm -hmm. within mm. his armor. Some part of him. Imprinted <laughs> onto the armor or copied. And so, Ome That's what so, so Darkseid blasts the full force of his Omega Beams and it is not enough Nice to stop Superman. And he says, you taught me to never accept defeat. And Darkseid says, uh, perhaps I taught you too well, my son. And Superman says, I am not your son and proceeds to uh, deck him in a uh, spectacular fashion. Does he kill him? No, and they're all like, we should kill Darkseid. Yeah. And he's like, no, I've learned the value of no. life and Why? like we shouldn't kill it. Or some Why shit. do we always learn the value of life with the <laughs> worst, with the worst people? No, I can't kill the Joker, because I'll kill everyone. Uh, but mm. so all of the, the remaining members of New Genesis hold hands and Care Bear stare Darkseid into another place where his soul may be purified they if it- their mother boxes? What? Yeah, they use their mother boxes in unison. They literally just, they surround him, they hold hands and they blast him with their mother boxes and it sends Darkseid's <laughs> consciousness away to like a nether like realm. Some where, other place. To a place where maybe it will learn to like not be such a sure, dick. Sure, I'm sure he like won't in zone. this place it, no. just take over. And, right. Like yeah. start again. Right. Well, it's like his soul or whatever, so maybe it can't like, interact he with it. The the the, the only life. life equation. He yeah. knows it exists. He knows where it is. He yeah. can just come get it again. Yeah, yeah but, but it's like really it. long. He didn't memorize it. 
Looks so like you can't pie. really use it anymore. Yeah. It's yeah. Hard, you know. yeah. 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 Not everyone knows. I need the 67th place of Pi. Yeah. Do you remember so. it? So he's off. And, and he's and, trapped, right? He can't get out. Yeah, and they, they imply the source is involved. So, like, it's God. Maybe he's in the source wall. Yeah. Oh, maybe We've the, seen that before, but maybe that's what not this. Metron learned was, or not Metron, maybe what Scott Free, Scott Free learned is how to imprison people inside of it. Yeah. But with, Did they explain what he saw? That he was nah, like, whoa. Well, it's unknowable. So, I see. But with Darkseid's presence gone. Orion is like, I once felt hate in my heart, but now all I feel is like, I, I feel the love that I felt for Light Ray. I and feel nothing. No, it's, it's replaced with joy. And he, and he feels oh. like he understands the value of friendship and stuff and maybe, love. Maybe like Light Ray leaked into him. Maybe. Yeah, maybe he's like light leaks. It's, it's more like- it's The implication oh, that he was like psychically linked to Darkseid, as long as Darkseid was alive, he was like infecting Orion. Kinda, yeah, yeah. Weird. So, so then, wait, since All Father is gone... High that, Father. High Father. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell All Father? That's <laughs> Odin. Uh, I can't yeah. keep these fucking names straight, these nonsense names. Yeah. <laughs> since, since High Father is gone, wouldn't that have, shouldn't that have made Scott free? No. Yeah, like, also lose thing. his like, oh, goodness okay, or whatever. Convenient. <laughs> he never had goodness to begin with. Well, he, he, he wasn't purely hearted anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so he's like, all right. Uh, so Scott's like, well done, guys. Good luck. See you later. Goodbye. So then, take uh, my chair and I'm going away. Yes. <laughs> so then, like a year. Oh, so uh, so Superman and Orion are kind of left to each other, and they just have this like weird stare, like where they just look at each other for a minute. I guess because like Orion hated him, right? And Superman didn't really know him very well, <laughs> and so now and Superman had no regard for him, and so that's why they share no dialogue. And so then a year later. Uh, we see that like they rebuilt New Genesis as a borough of Metropolis that floats above it, kind of like in the like, JMS run of Thor where yeah. uh, Asgard. Asgard, but that's New derivative. Asgard? This is original because okay. this came before it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, and it's seemingly like there is a little bit of like a tech, uh, so technology. It's like new New Genesis? Yeah, New New Genesis with like <laughs> cannons and it's hookers. Like N-U-2 <laughs> Yeah, N-U Genesis. Genesis. <laughs> so we see that uh, there's a little bit of like a technology exchange, I guess, where like Jimmy is playing with like Anti-grav floaty guys. You can have those oh. and we'll give you hamburgers because apparently you've never had <laughs> you've them. You've never had before. them and they're delicious. And compact disc players. Oh. Which skip if you move too yeah, fast. Yeah, don't move too fast or drive your car with it because it will skip like you wouldn't believe. Thanks. So Orion ends up with Lois. What? And uh, they live in New Genesis, and they're like rebuilding, and they're it's like the part of this whole new like unification. Did process. Lois fall oh. in love? Did they set that up? Well, I guess. Eh. That, I guess the indication is that since she joined the Resistance, that they were working with the they new were working gods. In unison, yeah. Uh, so she spent a lot of time with so, him. So like when he was freaking out, she's like, "I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna ignore that and hope that like you can nothing get makes better. him that angry again." <laughs> yeah. and, well, also yeah. with Darkseid dead, maybe he won't yeah. look like that. Well, anymore. yeah, once that happens. Exactly. And before that, she was just hoping that somehow he could calm down. Yes. <laughs> uh, but they speculate about what Superman's up to, and Superman... Oh, and at least she can actually bang him. Oh, that's true. true. Well, can she? Yeah. He's no, a new god. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Oh. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not, it's not it's like Superman. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, they speculate about what Superman's up to. Superman uh, pledged to bring peace to Apocalypse. So, Superman destroys Armageddon, which I feel like is... You that's know, not like, really helpful. Hey, man, that's my no, home. My dude, like, no, you didn't like Your home's a shithole. So you crappy. Destroy, no, you, you, you destroy the Colosseum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you elevate yeah. Armageddon Armageddo. to make it no. like a beacon of no. hope. It can't be saved. It's got it. Well, it's like, it has know, to be nobody raised. wants to live in Armageddon. We'll right. rebuild to a nicer place. So I've they, lived here for a whole generation. Yeah, my this, family has been here <laughs> since the be, the dawning of New Genesis. No. So, so Superman no, destroys we're going to build it. a shopping mall. Everyone's like, yay. And they, so they all cheer for Superman. Bart is like, so you could be the new ruler. Live for Superman, die for Superman. And he's like, no, we're not going to do that. That didn't that work. That was dynamite last time. That's, so they, uh, but they also She's like, well, then I guess I'll be the ruler. No, no. Live for Bart and die for Bart. <laughs> yeah, so Bart and Superman hook up, and so they're together. And uh, Superman and Bart find that, like, uh, what was it? He's like, and they can bang oh, too, so can that's bang. perfect. I was just that's right. That. Yeah, it's uh, like poetry. Superman discovers that, like, he discovers terraforming technology and finds that there is some soil that he can <laughs> use on Apocalypse to grow and grow things that can, like, be used as right. as food. And she's like, "So you you've given up your life as a soldier and a despot to become a farmer?" 
And like like, Thanos. Yeah, he, more like the prophecy that said oh. he who would destroy will be the creator. That's when the war will end. So he's like, I'm a creator now. I've ended the war. Right. And he's it's like, like oh. and we're going to get some cows up here. Yeah. Because we need those burgers. We know those you, you burgers. You haven't lived. And so you've had a big belly burger. So you've had the rotting flesh of a cow. Uh, well, but yeah, no, it's... it's well, so, you know, if Superman was raised by Darkseid, actually everything would turn out way better than it has in the real world, yeah. where uh, oh, Apocalypse is still a yeah, hellscape. Yeah, Darkseid's seemedly gone. Yep. And yeah. yeah, we lost a few folk along the way. <laughs> well, not to mention all the people who died or doesn't don't, don't realize their potential in the process to lead up to this. Well, right. yeah. But it's like, an Elseworld, so it's like, yeah, no, you know what, we can, we can, we can, we can, okay. we can root for this. We, we yeah. did lose New Genesis, I guess. Yeah, but it, we, we gained a new New Genesis as well. Right. Right. So, and we go. redeemed Apocalypse. Yeah. Turns out once you put out those those Hellfire pits, it's actually it's not too pretty bad. Nice, right? Pretty nice around here. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's a solid Elseworld story. It clearly penetrated the zeitgeist into the offices of Bruce Tim and company, and made uh, a dynamite episode of the uh, Superman animated series. But also, I think it's a fun story and a and a, not a bad Trojan horse for the Fourth World if you want to like get someone into it. You go like, hey. Let me explain to you why Orion is cool or what the origins of New Genesis are. And they're like, shut up. <laughs> and you go, all right, well then, here you can borrow my cool story where Superman fights Darkseid. Right. That I'm into. Right. And it's like, and also you'll have to learn about origins. <laughs> yeah. I like that he has a sword here. Like, and a sword. He does have a sword in his battle, but he doesn't use it for anything. No. He doesn't need it. He's it looks too, cool he's on the powerful. cover. Also, Darkseid has a fun new suit. It's an Elseworlds suit. It's just like this yeah, I noticed that. He still has the boots, though. Oh, they yeah. love giving him them boots. Yeah. He's got to have them boots. Those I agree. Sexy big boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if we'll they had fur on them. But if this book <laughs> is collected, I know that it's in uh, Elseworlds collections. Like, there's these trades that, like, collect all the Elseworlds. So you mm. can get that. It's probably in the comments down below. We have two of them. So, <laughs> it's, so you it's can come by the studio and come get one. Oh, uh, please don't. <laughs> I don't want to start normalizing that, okay? <laughs> the door is locked. The door is locked. And uh, if you break in, I will press charges. <laughs> we learned our lesson after that salesman came in. That's true. And he was like a vampire. We invited him in. because we, we did. Because who we, would not? So we didn't know any better. We didn't know who was there. I didn't know there was like a thing where people just go door to door. Try to sell you crap. Try to sell you insurance on small businesses. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. See, did we ever talk about this? The guy in the comments who was like, well, he was just trying to... What, you know. what a bunch of assholes you guys are. Like, you invited him in. You had to wash <laughs> to his feet him. and feed him. <laughs> I wrote, found the salesman. <laughs> I was just going to say. Your time or well, thought he how did. How else would you know this insane handshake of society? Yeah. That, by the way... That's the salesman's code. Yeah. If they invite you in, that's you get them for... only the code among salesmen. 